Strength and flexibility are essential for peak performance in any sport, but they are critical for combat sports where life-threatening injury is a reality. Whether you practice kickboxing, karate, MMA, kung fu, BJJ, taekwondo, or any other discipline, these two elements form the foundation of your ability. They enable you to hit harder and faster, move quicker and more fluidly, and absorb more punishment, significantly reducing your risk of injury. A strong body is evident in every noteworthy athlete. Icons like Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Jackie Chan, Mike Tyson, and modern fighters such as Paulo Costa, Israel Adesanya, Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather, and John Jones exemplify the benefits of strength. Flexibility is just as important. It enables you to strike faster, kick higher, and move fluidly and gracefully, both on your feet and on the mat. High levels of flexibility make submissions from an arm or leg lock in BJJ or MMA much more challenging for your opponent. Additionally, both strength and flexibility improve overall conditioning and resilience. This means fewer strains, sprains and tissue tears and more time working out. The problem is, historically developing strength and flexibility typically requires a significant time investment, often separate from regular martial arts training. But that is a reality no more. Over the past 20 years, my brother and I have developed a way to build strength and flexibility efficiently within the same 60 minute workout. Our revolutionary method ensures you don't sacrifice martial arts skill or training time by maximizing the efficiency and effectiveness of your workouts. In this video, I'll share how. Or you can grab the martial artist strength and flexibility blueprint. Just click or tap the screen to get it and make sure to subscribe. Strength is a key factor in martial arts. It enhances your ability to hit harder and faster. In grappling, it enables you to overpower an opponent of equal skill. Plus, it enhances your ability to absorb hits. The role of strength in martial arts is well documented in both scientific literature and real world examples, underscoring its critical importance for peak performance. But I'm not suggesting you become a bodybuilder. You probably have friends who go to the gym with the sole purpose of increasing muscle mass to improve their physical appearance. That is not the goal of strength training for a martial artist. We're talking about functional strength with the added benefit of improving your lean muscle mass, which in turn assists in reducing your body fat, giving you a fighter's physique. Functional strength differs from bodybuilding in many ways, but most notably, we promote structural balance, which means balance between the joints opposing muscle systems, balance between the inner and outer unit muscle systems, symmetry and balance between your opposing limbs. And we promote full range of motion in resistance training to both increase your maximal strength and end range strength. Icons like Bruce Lee, Mike Tyson, Conor McGregor and Israel Adesanya exemplify the benefits of being strong. Their physical prowess is not just for show, it plays a crucial role in their success. Bruce Lee, known for his incredible strength relative to his size. Bruce Lee's training regimen included extensive strength training. His legendary one inch punch is a testament to the explosive power he developed through rigorous strength training. Mike Tyson's unmatched knockout power in the boxing ring was largely due to his extraordinary strength and conditioning program, which included heavy resistance training. Conor McGregor's strength training has been integral to his success in the UFC. His strength and conditioning coach has emphasized the role of resistance training in building McGregor's speed and power. Israel Adesanya incorporates strength training to enhance his striking and defensive capabilities. His training includes a mix of traditional weightlifting and functional strength exercises designed to improve his performance in the octagon. Here's how the practical application of strength training in the UMS becomes invaluable for martial artists. The Unified Movement System, aka UMS, incorporates a unique approach to strength training, emphasizing the importance of training antagonistic muscle groups in a one-to-one -one ratio and developing structural balance in your body. This method is not only efficient, but also highly effective for improving your performance and reducing injury risk. Let's delve into how this approach works. In the UMS, every workout pairs antagonistic muscle groups, ensuring balance development and preventing imbalances that can lead to injuries. For example, in an upper body strength workout, horizontal push patterns like bench presses or push-ups are paired with horizontal pull patterns like bent over rows or ring rows. 
This pairing leverages the natural relationship between your antagonistic muscles, where contracting one muscle group helps relax your opposing group. By alternating sets between antagonistic muscle groups, you allow each muscle group to recover while working its counterpart. This approach not only maintains higher performance levels, but also improves your overall workout efficiency. You literally get twice the work done in the same amount of time. Neural Circuit Efficiency Alternating sets leverage the idea of antagonistic neural relationships, where contracting one muscle group helps relax the opposing group. This neural efficiency enhances both strength and flexibility, as it taps into the body's natural mechanisms for muscle contraction and relaxation. Structural Balance Training In addition to focusing on antagonistic muscle groups, the UMS emphasizes structural balance. After primary strength exercises for horizontal push and pull patterns, you incorporate exercises for the rotator cuff and scapular stabilizers, the inner unit of stabilization muscles. Furthermore, we implement the use of both bilateral and unilateral movement patterns to promote limb symmetry, which is extremely important for martial arts and combat sports. For the upper body, this means using dumbbells as well as barbells to allow each arm to work evenly. For the lower body, this means using single leg movements as well as regular squats and deadlifts. Structural balance is crucial for injury prevention, strengthening both the outer unit of prime movers like your pecs, lats, biceps and triceps, and the inner unit like the rotator cuff and scapular stabilizers ensures that your muscles work harmoniously. Lack of structural balance is a key factor in most sports injuries, and addressing it through proper strength and conditioning is vital for your long-term health and performance. In every martial arts gym and academy I've ever trained at or visited, there is a workout component to each training session designed to increase strength, fitness, and endurance. These workouts are typically performed on the floor or the mat without any equipment, and herein lies the problem. These mat-based workouts heavily focus on legs, core, and push patterns. They include exercises like squats, sit-ups, and push-ups, which are sufficient for building lower body and core strength as well as pushing power. However, they completely neglect pulling movements and exercises for the inner unit of shoulder stabilizers. This leads to highly dysfunctional shoulders over time. As you progress and gain more experience, these dysfunctions often worsen. Common issues amongst long-term and serious martial artists include rounded shoulders, shoulder impingement, and torn rotator cuffs. These conditions not only hinder your performance, but can also lead to chronic pain and long-term injury. The absence of pulling exercises and the neglect of shoulder stabilizers create imbalances that are detrimental to your overall health and effectiveness as a martial artist. This imbalance is prevalent across various martial arts disciplines, regardless of the gym or academy. Flexibility is just as important as strength in martial arts. It allows you to kick higher, move more fluidly and gracefully, makes you harder to tap out, and it significantly reduces aches and pains from training. Scientific research and real world examples underscore the crucial role of flexibility in enhancing martial arts performance and overall well-being. Flexibility training is a staple in the regimens of notable fighters and performers, showcasing its importance in achieving peak performance. Jean-Claude Van Damme, known for his incredible splits, Van Damme's flexibility is a key part of his martial arts and acting career. His ability to perform high kicks and complex movements with ease is a testament to his flexibility training. Bruce Lee emphasized flexibility as a critical component of his training. His routine included dynamic and static stretching exercises, which allowed him to execute high kicks and swift movements seamlessly. Conor McGregor incorporates flexibility into his training to enhance performance. This helps him maintain agility and fluidity in the octagon, allowing for high kicks, quick transitions and evasive maneuvers. Israel Adesanya's striking style relies heavily on his flexibility. His ability to kick high and move fluidly is a result of dedicated flexibility training, which is essential for his dynamic fighting style. Integrating flexibility training into your martial arts regimen is a cornerstone of the unified movement system. This approach ensures that flexibility is developed alongside strength, creating a balanced and effective training program. In the UMS, you utilize active recovery between strength training sets. Instead of resting passively between a set of push-ups and rows, you perform flexibility training as active recovery. 
This method maximizes efficiency and ensures your continuous improvement in both strength and flexibility. We train flexibility for opposing limbs during strength exercises. For example, while strength training the upper body with push-ups and rows, you perform flexibility exercises for the lower body, such as hamstring and groin stretches, during rest periods. This approach ensures that strength development is not hindered by stretching the same muscles during active recovery and reduces your risk of injury by maintaining muscle balance. Loaded stretching involves using weights or an external load so that the muscles contract either eccentrically or isometrically during the stretch. This method is superior to passive stretching as it develops both flexibility and strength through the full range of motion simultaneously. Loaded stretching also thickens your muscle fibers, making the flexibility more usable and making you less prone to injury. Eccentric loading where muscles lengthen under tension is particularly beneficial for developing flexibility. Research published in the Journal of Sports Sciences supports the benefits of eccentric loading for increasing muscle flexibility and strength. The study found that eccentric training improves muscle tendon unit compliance, leading to greater flexibility and reduced injury risk. Now it's time to put together an efficient strength and flexibility workout for martial arts. Grab the Martial Artist Strength and Flexibility Blueprint. It's free, just click or tap the screen to get it.